Hey y'all, since Chanthodius dealt with the last video that On Knees for Jesus 4 uploaded onto YouTube, I'm going to deal with this one. Uh, the title is Challenging Tra Traditional Beliefs on Marriage. <sighs> it's late. And I'm about to ramble, so I apologize to everybody right now. This video is going to be long. President Obama's endorsement of marriage equality becomes a rallying cry for the religious right. Yeah, because our president actually supporting marriage equality for consenting fucking adults in the 21st fucking century, you know, just is so fucking offensive to the religious right, it so infringes on their fucking beliefs that our president actually said said that that same-sex couples should be considered equally recognized under the fucking law. You know that is just so fucking radical in the 21st fucking century, isn't it? Republican Mitt Romney uh, has uh, cheered or was cheered this weekend at Virginia's Liberty University when he said that it wasn't a matter of rights, but of religion. Take a listen. Congress shall, na shall not make any law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. Every initiative in the 32 states within the United States that have either amended their, con their constitution or outright banned same-sex marriage or banned the recognition of same-sex marriage or marriage equality from other states and other countries is from the fucking religious right wing of this country. That is the only fucking argument that they have is that our religion done says that you homosexuals that have live, lived your lives together and build your houses up and raised a family and collected property is not recognized under the law. What the fuck? fuck is your goddamn problem with the First Amendment when it does not go in your own fucking favor? All of you people, Mitt Romney, Tony Perkins, the fucking Family Research Council, the American Family Association, Go Proud, fuck all of you. And I know that Go Proud is a gay organization that supports Republicans, and I don't understand why they're actually there. But fuck all of yous, seriously. You know, equality, is that such a fucking hard term for all of yous to comprehend? What you believe, what you value, how you live matters. Now, as fundamental as these principles are, they may become topics of democratic debate from time to time. So it is today with the enduring institution of marriage. Marriage is a relationship between one man and one woman. I know Mitt Romney knows, everybody that watches this particular video is gonna know Everybody that was in that fucking audience is going to know that what he was talking about was a biblical point of view. Nowhere in your fucking Bible does it say that marriage is in between one man and one woman. Not one passage whatsoever. We can make a really hard case for polygamy and raping of young children from your Bible if you really want to put that up there. But again, I would like to refer to the First Amendment of the Consti Constitution, which says Congress shall make no law laws respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. 
allowing same-sex couples of consenting age to marry and have full legal status within our country does not prohibit any religious individual from practicing their religion. Joining me now, Reverend Irene Monroe, religion columnist and author of Let Your Light Shine Like a Rainbow, and Bishop Henry Jackson, senior pastor of Hope Christian Church. It's nice to see both of you this morning. Reverend Monroe, I want to start with you. The president himself has said that he understands how some see his endorsement as against their religious principles. Do you support the president's endorsement of this, but do you also understand why some people might not? Oh, I absolutely um applaud the president for taking this courageous stance but one of the things that we have to remember here is that obama is president and not pastor of the united states and that means not just some people but it means all people so i'm delighted that his moral consciousness and his theological thoughts have evolved to be about inclusion and one of the things that he lifted up in his statement he said the golden rule lifting up the golden rule of jesus is that we that we all want to be treated fairly that treat others as you like to be treated and he's a family man so he right. understands this Bishop he Jack understands this yeah. Before we get to Bishop Jackson, if for the small percentage of people of my subscribers and people that are going to watch this know who Bishop Jackson is, that I'm going to go into a tirade when he starts talking, I would like to confirm what she just said, that the President of the United States is the President of the United States and not the Pastor of the United States. I would like people that are older than, I would have to say now 50 years old, wow, within the United States to remember when Kennedy ran for president, that when he ran, there was a huge opposition against him because he was Catholic. And the Protestants against him were complaining that putting a Catholic as president would mean mean that uh, the Catholic Church would run the United States. And as it turned out, Kennedy was one of the most, I want to say, liberal presidents that we had in the ways of equality for the time that he was around. And in my opinion, if he was not assassinated, shit that went down afterwards probably would not have went down and that we would most likely have had more equality in our country a lot sooner than we actually had it but let's go on to pastor jackson and let me vent on his fucking ass Bishop Jackson, I wanted to get to yes. you because the New York Times reports that the president gathered several spiritual leaders on a conference call last week to explain his decision. Some said they continued to endorsement, endorse him. Others said that they could no longer back him. Where do you fall? Well, I can't really back him on this. I believe that we're having a marriage amendment process unfold in Maryland, where my headquarters church is. And if Maryland goes through with this, which I slightly doubt that they will, but they might, to give or take, it will depend on what the next year and, and a half actually brings. If they actually do, I don't know what I personally am going to do, because Maryland is just south of where I live, and that would make a real confusing thing within Pennsylvania itself where we have New York which has legalized it and Maryland that will that could make it illegal who knows but if it does happen me personally I'm going to be so fucking pissed off that my rant that I did on North Carolina will pale in comparison to what I will actually say about Maryland itself. And many, many people have already kind of gotten a little bit upset. But the real question is, where do they go? 
if you don't like President Obama, can you really trust Romney? Uh, there has to be, if there's going to be some reaction that counts, there has to be some leadership and rallying of the pro-traditional marriage forces to make a major impact, I think. Me, personally, I am so sick of hearing the fucking rhetoric of traditional marriage. This whole thing of one man, one woman marrying for love and connecting, yeah, blah, blah, blah. That's a little bit over a hundred years old. I find it very frustrating that highly religious people like this so-called minister, pastor, whatever the fuck he wants to call himself, wants to hold up his religion and say that throughout the course of history itself, that marriage has always been between one man and one woman when he knows that he is lying. I would like to know how people like this can live with themselves knowing that they're lying about history especially their own religious history which if you go back 130 years 140 years polygamy among his particular religion was widely practiced and that marriage or the con or the commitment of relationships throughout history itself has varied from culture to culture, from ci from civilization to civilization, from, from region to region, from time, time frame to time frame. That marriage has not always been between one man and one woman. That if you want to really look at history, the most prominent forms of so-called marriage was polygamy or arranged marriages to pass on property and wealth that had nothing to do with love or commitment between those two individuals. I'm just wondering how people like this can live with themselves lying to themselves, to their congregations, to people, and on national fucking television. How do you people do this? Uh, Bishop, uh, you talk about Maryland, where there will be a referendum for marriage equality. You also sure. are familiar with D.C., where marriage equality is legal. Uh, you yes. said, though, last year on a radio show concerning marriage equality in Washington, D.C., uh, and this is what you said to the DJ, that I'm an African-American, and I especially believe that what we're dealing with is a satanic plot to destroy our seed. I am an African American and I especially believe that what we're dealing with is a sat satanic plot to destroy our seed. I've brought this up in past videos, but my bi biological mother and my biological father, my mother was white and my father was black. I hate using those terms, but I'm just simplifying for right now that when they were together in the mid 70s that my biological mother was disowned by her mother because she dated somebody and had a relationship with somebody outside of her own race does this individual does this Bishop Henry Jackson remember the the discrimination and the degradation of people of different skin tones 40, 40 fucking years ago this guy is at least 20 to 25 years older than I am he should remember that individuals back then that had different skin tones were discriminated against and the same rhetoric was used to deny marriage equality between people of different races. As we know now, scientifically, that every single human being is part of the same species, so we're not different races. But my point is that this same rhetoric was used to deny... It, if my biological parents were a decade before 
when they were, they would have been been denied marriage equality because they were different races. It's the same fucking argument. And the majority of the people back then were religious individuals. They had no scientific backing, no social science backing. Just like today, there's no scientific backing, no social science backing to marriage equality being detrimental to society at all. And he has the audacity to make a statement last year saying that marriage equality is is satanic. Fuck you. Do you believe the White House has been infiltrated by this same satanic plot? The president is part of some sort of satanic plot? Well, when you hear those terms, that is religion's terms in-house speak, if you would, on religious programming. Uh, that's for people that believe like I believe. And this is why people like you that believe what you believe because of your religious convictions should have no say within the policies and laws and constitutional amendments that are passed within the United States. Our country was set up in, in a secular way so that one religion or one sect of religion would not have any sway over any other religion or any other sect of religion itself. And people like you and the AFA and the CFR and all of you just will not get that through your fucking head at all. That, that, that this is not your country alone. That this country belongs to everybody. So, but you, you wouldn't know, use that, that language president... right now on MSNBC? You wouldn't stand true to say that you think it's a religious plot because there, you don't think well, that I, this is a religious network? No, well, it is a secular network. I simply would say to you that my theological stance is that if this marriage, traditional marriage is correct, as I believe that it is, then whatever forces fight against it are fighting against the purposes of God. And that's a very, very simple concept. So to you, people like me that want marriage equality to be fully recognized underneath the laws state or local state and federal laws of the United States is a is a satanic force against you here's the simple concept that people like you don't want to get and I know that I'm repeating myself but our country is secular it is for everybody not just you not just religious individuals, but for everybody. Not just for straight people, but for everybody. And it still irks me that somebody with a dark colored skin that is over 50 years old is on that side of the fucking fence on this issue. Just, I want to... Mm. Uh, would, Rep would Reverend you like Monroe, you when, you, when you hear that, uh, because there are certainly... Uh, Christians across this country, spiritual people across the country that believe uh, in anti-discrimination laws, that believe in equality. How do you try to change hearts and minds like that of the bishops uh, to believe in marriage equality? Before she goes on, I would like to just make a point that I realize and I know that it's not all religious people that are against marriage equality. I know quite a few religious individuals that are for marriage equality and I am well aware of religious organizations that fight for equality within the United States the thing that I fight against is the other so-called minister guy that wants to deny that to all American citizens See, what, 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 what I try to do is to steer people away from the kind of religious-based bigotry that um, Bishop Jackson is espousing. One of the things that I try to highlight is that, is that when, when you discriminate against uh, same-sex marriage, you're not only discriminating, discriminating against the couple, but also the children 
in those families. And one of the things that not only Obama is about, but so too the black community espouses all the time is saving the black family. And the family has always been a multiple structure because of slavery and other forms of discrimination. There are two things we learned here in terms of multiple family structures in the African American community. The first one is, is this. It's not the nuclear family, but it has to be a nurturing family. And the second one is that it's not about the composition of that family, but it's about the character of the people who are raising those children. Children. We have grown. We have grown up in the black community with grandmothers raising us, with aunts raising us, with uncles raising us. Right. So, if anything, we have that. We have that before us. And also, Obama comes out of a multiple structured family. He doesn't come out of that nuclear family because his mother is a white woman, was a white woman from Kansas, right. and his father was an African from Kenya. So, the whole thing is that theologically, I think, and also in terms of democracy we're moving forward because what Jesus said is that is this is that what you do for the least of my brothers and sisters you have also done for me and one of the things that we have as um, lesbian gay bisexual and transgender uh, families is that we don't have the same federal and state rights we are bereft of 1138 federal that, that's not true rights and benefits of, of, of other of, of heterosexual Reverend, family that is true Bishop J Jackson go ahead Reverend I'm sorry I need to jump in because we have run out of time I want to uh, invite you guys back on the program though because there's a lot okay. more to have on this debate yeah, uh, but I am out of time right now something. thank you thank you very much Bishop Henry Jackson thank Reverend you. I now to cut this short because I'm already over 21 minutes <coughs> the only thing that I really disagree with in what she sa said was how she addressed individuals of our species as an African American or black or whatever I am an American. I was born in this country. The color of my skin does not designate me as a second class citizen. I do not think that and I have never thought that. In fact, I have gotten in trouble with officers of the law for not identifying myself as African American or black. But for everything else that she did say, I agree with that that homosexual couples and homosexual people like like myself are denied over a thousand legal rights under the United States laws because of people like the Pastor Jackson that do not want to recognize marriage equality among consenting adults of of consenting age and and for some reason this is a really hard concept for them to get through their heads and again I am utterly aghast that people of a darker skin color are against marriage equality in the 21st century and for you individuals I will fight against you more than I will fight against anybody else because I know what discrimination feels like I know what bigotry feels like and so should you and for that reason, you should not be against denying another citizen or another couple within the United States equal rights just because they happen to be of the same gender. You have no argument and nothing backing you up on this besides you standing up going, my religion, my religion, fuck your religion. It has no say in our country, or it should have no say in our country. People like you need to die out or move forward with the rest of us. Until next time, have a good one.